Hi, I'm Ravi from AutoWave, and in this uh, video, what we're going to show you is the OBD Star G3 device using the new, brand new Mercedes Benz software. I'm in an A class Mercedes, and we've got a customer with an original key. Start the vehicle. All starts fine, everything working good, and the central locking obviously working absolutely fine. We're going to use an AUT RK0039 Auto Wave Remote. As you can see, this is a brand new key. Remote's not programmed, nor is the ignition. So it's a brand new key from Auto Wave. Now, if we look at the menu of the OBD Star, we can either select by model or we can select by chassis. So if I select A class, I can either auto detect it or use the W169. If I press auto detect, I'm just going to turn the ignition on with the original key. Please connect the diagnostic tool with the MP001 programmer. So now it's getting the EIS type and it says W169. So we press yes. So now we've got a function, add keys, all keys lost, or ECU reset virgin or program an ECU. Just so I'm gonna hit add keys. Now we've got a step-by-step -step guide. This tells us on the guide, it tells us exactly how to uh, connect the, um, the actual device. So as you'll see here, we've got the MP001 We've got part of the Benz adapter. We've got the cable that comes with the Benz adapter, which is a long cable, which also had OBD. I've got my OBD cable connected into the MP001 with the power going to it as well. And then this cable will go to OBD and it's all on the diagram. So, and as we can see, we have the guide with all the connections on there. Now it tells us the steps. Step one, I'm gonna press read pin code. So it says pin code collection. This function is avail available by connected to the server. So we're connected to the internet and it says, please connect the C404 module, which is the Benz adapter, the diagnostic tool and the MP001, which we have done. So now it's gonna communicate. So follow the instructions. Here we go, if we press yes. Insert and remove, and now we're using the working key, the ignition key from the EIS three times. So one, two, three. Now there's a wait time. Remove the ignition key and insert it into the infrared hole. So we'll just put it in there. Now this is now reading the key data. Insert and remove the ignition key from the EIS three times, then insert it into the EIS. So we've got insert, take it out, insert, take it out, insert, take it out, and then insert. Turn the ignition key to the on position and observe whether the dashboard lights, lights up. Dashboard lights up. Basically, if it didn't work, then we'd have to take it in and out a few times and turn the ignition on. Remove the key from the EIS and insert it into the hole and press OK. So now this is the bit that takes about five to 10 minutes. And basically now this is um, calculating the data online on the OBD star servers by interrogating the information in the vehicle. OK, insert and remove the ignition key from the EIS three times, then insert. So we're going to do the same again. 
insert. And did you hear the steering lock go there? Take it out, insert, take it out, insert, take it out. And now we're gonna leave it inserted, press okay. Turn the ignition key to the on position and see if the dashboard lights come up, which they do. It's okay. So we've got the pin code. So that is the key password for the vehicle. So now we've done the pin code collection. So step one is done. Now I'm gonna generate a key file. So method one is what we're going to use. The reason we're gonna use method one is because we're connected by OBD. Now what this has done is, so obviously we've got all the information here. So now if I press generate key file, it'll ask me what key position. Now you see here, we've only got keys one and two used. I'm gonna select key four, press okay. It's generating the key file. Key file generation success. So now I can go back. So now I'm gonna reset Virgin BE key data. So obviously we've connected VAR OBD. Please insert the key into the infrared keyhole. So I'll put my new key inside here. Tap OK. Reset the key. Communicating with the key. Now we're going to read the key info. So this is the original, the a new key that we are going to put the data onto. And as you'll see from the data that's going to be shown on screen, it's blank key. So now I'm going to write the key data. Insert the blank key. Select the key file. Now you can see I did key four. Select that, write the key file onto the key. And once we've put that onto the key, that was successful. Insert the key and check if it can start. So we're going to try the new key in the ignition. I heard the steering lock disengage. Vehicle starts. Everything's good. Central locking is also good. 